So the irradiance of a beam of natural light is 400 watts per meter square, or what's used to be known as the intensity. It impinges on first two consecutive ideal linear polarizers. So let's say if the first ideal polarizer is at uh, zero degrees axis, the other one will be 40 degrees from that. And so it says how much light emerges from the two polarizers. Now, if uh, natural light impinges on an ideal polarizer, then the irradiance of the polarized light after that first polarizer will be uh, I0 is basically uh, from Malice's law, right? Um, will be uh, I max or I at zero or I initial. I can't get to do this because it's it's uh, kind of it's hard to do it without uh... over two. Because it's kind of like an implicit function. So this will be 400 divided by 2, which is 200 watts per meter square. So this is the irradiance after the first polarizer. Now, for the second one, if it's 40 degrees, we can use Malice's law. So malice law. Malice law says that the irradiance at some theta is equal irradiance zero times cosine four cosine theta squared or cosine squared theta. And so this will be at 40 degrees equal to 200 cosine squared 40, which will be uh, 200 cosine squared 40 is 117 point four watts per meter square. So this would be the irradiance of the light emerging from the two ideal polarizers. That does it.